Hello, I'm Adam Barillet and welcome to this Crystal Connection video where we're exploring the stone of Luxalonite. Now Luxalonite is a stone that is found in one place in the world, in Luxalion in Cornwall. And I might be saying that wrong, so forgive me if I, if I am, but basically just found in Cornwall in the UK. Now you can see that there's two main colours in here. That orange is a type of granite and then the black is tourmaline. You'll also find different things like a bit of brown mica, some quartz, some, some castorite in here. So they've got all these different crystals making up this really powerful stone. What you're going to find is this really helps you bring a strength and get different distractions out of the way. And that's what we're going to explore in this video. Now, as I said before, it's only found in that one place, but there is a bit of a fascinating fact. The Duke of Wellington's tomb, which is in St. Paul's Cathedral in London, is actually made out of Polish Luxalonite as well. Now, why did they use that? Apart from it being a local stone, there could be some other mysterious powers to it as well. So in this video, let's explore how you can take advantage of Luxonite, maybe before you need a tomb, maybe in this lifetime. How does that sound? <laughs> Luxolonite is great for helping you deal with the everyday hassles that arise in life, whether it be last minute cancellations, scheduled changes, or people running late and keeping you waiting. This will help you to keep your cool and stop you getting angry or too frustrated. This is also a really great uh, crystal for helping you keep grounded and focused on what's important to you. You see, the orange gra granite really helps you focus on what brings you joy. And then you've got the black tourmaline, which we know is really good for removing unwanted obstacles. So whenever there's something that's really important to you that really serves your soul, because remember things that bring you joy are in alignment with your soul, whenever those things start to get compromised in some way, reach for Luxalonite. Now sometimes when we're enjoying ourselves and we're doing something that actually brings us pleasure, guilt can come up. Does that happen for you? If so, try working with Luxalonite and it can really help to shed and remove that type of guilt. There's a great part in the charge of the goddess that says, Let my worship be in the heart that rejoiceth, for behold, all acts of love and joy are my rituals. Which is basically referring to if the goddess or the god or the great creator gave us all these pleasures of life, if we don't enjoy them, then it's like me giving you a gift and you're not enjoying it. Lux on night really helps you to anchor in and enjoy and have that really su sumptuous life. Now, sometimes it's our own inner guilt that will stop us from enjoying something. Sometimes it will be other people. Luxalonite can actually be used to deflect any evil spells or ill wishing or the evil eye as well. So it has that real protective nature as well. And that's brought by the strength of the granite and the protective defensive energies that we know in black tourmaline as well. So a really great one to carry with you, to keep in your pocket or to wear to make sure that whatever you're enjoying in life, no one ruins that, yourself or other people. Luxalonite is definitely a solution-based kind of stone, and it really helps you find solutions by keeping that kind of grounded energy that I've been referring to. Now, it really helps to overcome any kind of negative skepticism or kind of defeated behavior of, oh, we'll never sort out this, and really helps you to be optimistic and even come up with solutions that may be a little bit outside the box, but be confident to try them in a nice grounded way. It can also really help you to stay nice and grounded and see the bigger picture. If you're someone who tends to dive into something without thinking about what you should do first, then Luxalonite will help you to kind of, in a more um, practical way, analyze what's happening, see the bigger picture, consider other people's ideas, and then make a decision as well. Now, if you do need to speak to people, if a problem is arising, then Luxalonite's a really great stone to have with you. Rather than, you know, waiting until something becomes a bigger and bigger problem, Luxalonite gives you the strength to go and approach someone straight on. Maybe you've heard a whispering that someone's th you know, saying something negative to you or that there's a problem. Rather than waiting until it comes to the surface, hold your lux and light, take a deep breath, give the person a call, go chat to them. Hey, I've heard that there's something not right. I hear that you're unhappy with this. Nip in the bud, confront it, deal with it straight on rather than allowing it to kind of get out of hand. I've used Luxonite a few times when there's been things coming up on social media. You know, sometimes you'll have a friend or a colleague say something that could kind of ca cause this whole kind of chaotic rift <laughs> on Facebook. So what I did is I'm like, I'd like to talk to you about that. Let me give you a call. And I comment that under there and actually give them a call. And I find that it settles with that instead of it becoming blown out of proportion. So this is a really great stone for that, for helping you be see the big picture, stay grounded, don't dive in, don't flare up and all that type of thing and really find the solution to the problem so that we can go on living our lives 
and getting on with things nicely, peacefully, and joyously. Luxalonite works really great for the sacral chakra. Now, when it's out of balance, all different things can happen that can definitely kind of upset the apple cart. Now, sometimes when it's overactive, when there's too much energy in there, then this is a great stone for placing on that sacral chakra, visualizing a softening of the orange energy and looking at the behaviors around that as well. So how do you know if you've got an overactive sacral chakra? Well, you can check out my video, how to test it with the pendulum, or do you tend to be a bit of a crisis junkie or a drama queen and there's a lot of drama happening in your life? That would suggest that you're thriving on that and that you can use Luxonite to kind of calm everything down to make everything a bit more peaceful. Also, another thing is relying on things outside of yourself, you know, for pleasure. So this may be other people, it may be, you know, cigarettes or alcohol or drugs or shopping or something to make you feel really good rather than feeling content in yourself. Luxolite can help you with that again to help you find that more inner contentedness. So whether you are trying to show your importance and trying to feel value by creating drama and making everything blown out of proportion or whether you're draining and sucking other things to fulfill that kind of role, Luxolite will kind of clamp that out. It'll really help you to feel comfortable in yourself and be okay with just having a quiet, normal, peaceful day. Now, to also protect you from that kind of thing that can cause, if you've got other people in your life that cause this kind of upset or drama and that kind of thing, either having a bit on your desk at work or putting it at the entrance of a workplace or at your home can help guard against that over dramatic kind of drama that really drains your life and drains your energy and takes you off the focus of just doing what you're here to do and what's really, really important to you. Luxolonite can also work really nicely with another chakra beyond the body known as the Earth Star Chakra. Now the Earth Star Chakra is about your connection to all that is on the Earth. So your connection to Mama Gaia, the Earth herself, as well as every plant, every animal, and every human. You see, when we realize that we are connected to all these different things and start to see that they have their own energy, their own spirit, and even their own soul, then we can never feel lonely. Yes. I'm all by myself at the moment, but can you see how many trees are all around me? If I see that they are my brothers and my sisters, then even when I'm out here by myself, I can't be alone. By feeling that deeper connection to the earth, you start to feel a oneness. You start to feel a, an, an, an importance and also an in, insignificance. An importance that you're here to play a role, but an insignificance that things don't really matter that much because we're all trying for the greater revolution as well. So if you're looking for a sense of oneness, to overcome loneliness, and to really connect to the earth, then work with Luxonite. Take her out into the, onto the earth and just sit, maybe barefoot on the earth, hold it in your hands, just listen. Notice the things that are happening around you and you'll notice how noisy it is just by listening to the wind and the trees moving and the animals and the birds and all that kind of thing. You're never alone. You might be away from other humans, but you're never alone when you're on planet Earth and you're really focusing on that Earth Star Chakra. Now, if you'd like to do a bit of a visualization to strengthen that Earth Star Chakra and to help um, strengthen your connection with the Earth, place this about 30 centimeters below your feet as you lie down and visualize this kind of red-brown ball of energy and maybe tendering out like tendrils or roots going into the Earth and feeling the heartbeat of the earth becoming one with yours. Luxolonite with its really grounding granite and really powerful black tourmaline can really help to accentuate this energy connection and it can be really quite potent and powerful. When you've been working with Luxolonite or if you've just got your first piece, it's a really good idea to ground it. Now, because of it's such an earthy grounding energy, I love to cleanse this by placing it on the earth. The best thing to do, and just leave it outside on some natural earth or if you want to go to the next level bury it just make sure you put a marker there so you can find it in the morning you can also bring in other wisdom and other energies of the other kingdoms as well to help whenever you're working with the mineral kingdom so first of all from the plant kingdom i love working with essential oils the essential oil that kind of really resonates with this one I find is cedarwood. Cedarwood helps us to be grounded, to be strong, but also not to lose our own power around other people and to embrace being with other people, just as Luxolonite can as well. So diffusing it, you know, using it in your skincare, however you want to use cedarwood whenever you work with Luxolonite can be really great, especially in meditation. Now the animal guide that comes to me when I'm working with Luxolonite, and I think it's because of the strong black tourmaline in here, is the gorilla. Now, gorillas, again, they're very powerful, they're very mighty, but they're soft and they're docile most of the time. 
you know, this is what Lux and Light brings to us, this kind of sheer confidence that we have the power, but we don't have to jump into every drama. We don't have to be the center of attention all the time. We can still be quite gentle, quite soft, but that doesn't mean that we have no power. We know how powerful Gorilla is, and Gorilla can really help you to learn gentle strength. So grab your Luxalonite in one hand, breathe in some cedarwood essential oil, and visualize a gorilla in front of you. If gorilla could speak to you, what would they say? Astrologically, I find because of this Earth connection, this is really strongly connected to the planet Venus. Venus rules the day Friday, so Friday is going to be your best day to work with Luxalonite and do any of the things we've talked about. So I really hope that you find Luxonite helpful for bringing a bit of resilience and not getting swept up in drama too much, for really helping you make some strong, wise decisions, and for finding balance with your sacral chakra and expanding your connection to the Earth with the Earth Star Chakra. Have you had an experience with Luxonite? I'd love to hear about it. Share with our crystal loving community in the comment section below. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I'm Adam Barrowley. Blessed be.